So I uh, had a really good time up at Donald's. Uh, we went through McDougal's gathering. We actually went through the recording that I had made on Facebook Live, which was pretty fun. I'll show you a little bits of that. We did some of Lord Lovett's. We played through the bicker. Uh, I ended up totally ripping out the water trap that I had put in earlier that day. It's just too much of a change. Uh, and the bagpipe was really having trouble settling. So I either need to get into a warm up routine that's going to work or you know, like a longer warm up that's gonna work to settle everything in, or I'm gonna need a different plan. Traditionally, I'm not a big fan of a prolonged warm up, um, but it might be what's gonna be ultimately required, so. So anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, we played through the bicker. Um, it was just a really, really cool experience. So, um, you've gotta give more thought to making the settling of the bagpipe process engaging for you and the listener both. It's too much mechanics, you know, bouncing off a bunch of E's, 45 burls, trying a couple of grips. It, you want it, when you are playing and presenting, you want, it, you want it to be inductive to the point that you absolutely captivate all the listeners. And that will also get you focused on what you're going to do. And, um, all right, it's time to get to work. So that's a suggestion I want to make to you is to give, actually do some pre-planning on, on what you're going to yeah. do with that. And so what are the names of the tunes again? McDougal's Gathering. Yeah. Lord Lovett's. Lord Lovett. So Lord Lovett is definitely uh, in the A mode. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, the Bicker. Although, yeah, the bigger, which I put the least amount of work recently into that, so... That's in the G mode, and or arguably in the D to, mode. Similar to McDougal's. Yeah. With, like, the high yeah. Gs and yeah. the Ds and Bs and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, too long in this condition. Which is in the A mode. Yeah. So, like, you can um, pick gorgeous sh** to play that's in those modes, and you should pre-plan it and say, this is what I'm going to be playing for that. And and think of Schulz or G-ishes mostly. You know? Yeah, for sure. You know, like, and, and the Facebook Live stuff that I've been doing, which that is, right, uh, so far I've just, I've been trying to figure out, like, my routine with that. Yeah. I'd like to do more of it. It's a great way to... Oh, it's a very good way to, like, put yourself under yeah, and you're a right. little bit of constraint and pressure. I think you're right about that, though. I think I should probably... You know, set a timer for tuning. Yep. And like, and just you know, use the Facebook Live moment as like, a per, uh, you know, as closely simulated performance as I can. I've been doing what you said. I'm trying to keep them perfectly the same. It's yep. so hard not to make the fourth one different. Exactly correct. That's the very thought I had about yeah. this. How hard it is to not follow what we understand to be good phrasing. Yeah. Now, those guys that made those comments, if you had done, if you had taken a risk here, they wouldn't have made the comments. Yeah about it seems slow to me that would take that would just diffuse that right there so again discretion and taste are involved you don't want to just clip the hell out of it you don't want to play t which a lot of people do t uh, which is desperate yeah and it's nice to soften it from the artistic point of view t uh, but for the energy level and this is why these guys made that comment. There's a middle ground which will impart more energy and still stay within the confines of good taste. And it's Yeah. That is the message from that is not one of all as well. The message is there's urgency here. So that's the second comment. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, totally. Got this one. Down very well. It's nice. These phrases are moving nicely. There's a rest, there's an acceleration, and a rest. It's very nice. Appreciate the bring it to a conclusion.
compose yourself and now go into the ground. I think the whole thing of just smashing and crashing back into the ground is unnerving. Yeah. Like, let the listener take in what you've just done and then let the listener hear what you're going to do next. So, big picture's good. It's coming on great. And because I think the overall standard of playing is coming up, it continues to rise. And we've... we've I think that's... A, I think that's... I think both things are true. I think the basic standard continues to rise, but, like, interpretation is the opportunity now. Like, yeah. Like you're saying, like... Yep. Fi finding... There's very few people, like, searching for that something extra. Yep. So the problem with this is we get into a conflict because if we have F's and high A's in mid phrase, we want to we want to treat them with kid gloves. We want to be very careful and not to be too quick coming off an F and a high A. When it comes at the beginning or end of phrase, it's a little bit more cut and dry. We just rest on and begin playing with the breathing rhythm. The problem here is I I get your your effort to be very careful in your treatment. But it's coming in mid phrase. So what it's doing is it's beginning to detract from the flow of the phrase. So even though it is an F, don't over pause it in mid phrase. The important note there is the E after the F. If you give too much to the F in front, you've just taken the importance away from the important note, which okay. is the E. So Hey, you hey, Now we have a high A, the end of a phrase. We've got a lot of artistic license here. We can take plenty of time on that note. And we just created a beautiful phrase. Oh, hey, you hey, hey, Now we can move on and we can be aggressive here. Ah, oh, you did that nicely. But here, we can come up to that F. We can take all the time in the world to get to that F. Okay. Now we're going to move on. Okay. The E is important. Oh, he, he, and the B is important. So, my point is, you're doing good things, but don't be fooled by those gorgeous F's. If they're mid-phrase, play them and get to the phrase ending. Play again. Okay.
good. So better? Like, yeah, it feels better. Yeah, well, it's... It's yeah. just, you have to, like, pick and choose your notes, you know? You, that's, that's the old Jack Lee <coughs> joke. You can't hold everything. <laughs> <laughs> um... One thing to think about is if you're interested in P-Brock and if you want to get into your tunes and if you want to work on getting that little something extra out of the, the big music, as they call it, contact Donald. He teaches on Skype and it can be an amazing experience wherever you are in the world. Um, I definitely, you know, he's been really kind to work with me and, um, you know, so I definitely want to support him by getting the word out. So check Donald out if you have a chance and if you're interested in a P-Brock lesson there. Uh, I think extremely fairly priced and you'll get so much out of it.